Greetings Inquisitors, welcome to the Holocron. This is the week 124 update for the Darth Loquitur account. I update this account's progress every week, go through all the character stuff, ship stuff, datacrons, mods, all that, so you could follow along. Please leave any comments or questions that you have in the chat down below. I always like to hear what you guys have to say. And I'll have a question specifically for you all later in the presentation, so you can try to help me, give you some guidance in the building of this account. I appreciate it, let me know. All right. Before we get started, remember to use your like saber, hit that like button, get that thing out of here. Helps me, helps the channel, and I would appreciate if you could do it. So, week 124 in the account. We're looking at the Jedi Knight Luke journey. Rebel Officer Leia Organa is the last relic that I need. She's still a little way off. We got a week left to go, probably. We'll get her next week. And then we'll have to start remodding, doing the event, seeing about relic levels, making sure that I can get through it. Here we've got Han. We're doing the Jabba journey. We got to get him to Relic 8. I have a good amount of Relic materials stored up. I've been able to farm ahead a little bit on the signal data. I feel pretty good that I've got uh, the stuff for Rolo in the account as well as Jedi Knight Luke when I build him. So I'm going to go ahead pop Han Solo up to Relic 8 here. Get him done for the Jabba journey. If we got him and we're using him, might as well make him as good as he can be. All right, we've got gas as a background project, so we're going in here, we're taking a look. We can upgrade this B1, get that thing to gear 12. That puts the B1 pretty much, you know, at the position of relic level. I go in here for Droidica, we get an upgrade, I take a look, we get another upgrade. Droidica goes to gear 12 as well. Finish out the skills here, and we're trying to figure out how much galactic power I need. So, uh... I'm looking at these robots and I'm like, okay, well, this is close. B2 is not ready yet, but uh, let's go into the event. So I decided to go into the event, do the initial parts of it. The first part's a ship. It's fleet stuff. And uh, I've got a lot of relic characters in this account, so it's no problem. We go through this fleet battle with no issue whatsoever. we got a good negotiator. We've got good ships. So it's just a matter of time and pressure and we win then we go in here against uh, this battle this battle's not easy if you don't have relic characters but I've got some pretty high relics in the account everything's in pretty good shape so we just kind of go through here we do, we the droidica gets reset which is unfortunate and then we got to go through kill it again uh, we do lose a character in the making of this success but I mean it's not too bad we get through it and then uh, Asajj, this, uh, this battle's kind of a joke. You just kind of walk through Asajj. It's not really a problem. And that puts us at the last battle. We need to have 17,700 GP for all these units. You can see the Magna Guard's good to go. The B1 is good to go. The Droidica, still short. So we're going to go in and do mod work for the day. So here we're going through our normal mod routine. We're working on gray stuff. Uh, we get the stuff we don't want sold. We come in here. We sell off the three-speed stuff. And then we look for things to slice. We find this mod here that's a triangle that's uh, got good stats. This is crit damage with three speed. And I decide, you know what, let's just give a poke at this. And we hit speed right away. Eight speed. So, yeah, let's try it again. We get five speed. Still interested. So try it again. Get <laughs> up to 17 speed now. So, okay, try it again. Uh, goes all the way up to gold, hits speed again, clean 20 speed. Now, five rolls to get 20 speed is not that great of a mod. You know, you're looking for 25, 26 speed mods, something like that, for them to be really good. But hey, I'll take a 20 speed mod just for a series of clicks off a three speed mod. So sometimes if they got good stats, you just give them a chance and see what happens. That's a case where it all worked out. We didn't get anything else. We got a bunch more. Uh, single slice failures off of there. Here we're into the blue and green stuff into slicing. So we go ahead and take a couple pokes at this mod and we get a 19 speed on four rolls. That's definitely six dotable and we can work on it in the future. Uh, looking for other mods that might be sliceable. We've got this offense mod crit damage 13 speed. So we're gonna go ahead and take a shot at that and it goes up to 17 speed. So that's nice, definitely something that we can work on. 
So we got two pretty good mods out of the green and blue section. So then we're going to go in here and actually uh, finish out working on mods for the week. Take the purples up, sell off the purples and golds with no speed. Here we're going through all the mods that just have one speed roll on them, getting rid of as many of these things as we can because we don't want them to accumulate in the in the inventory and waste a bunch of inventory space. So we got to clear those out. Then we go in here in Droidica and we try to uh, take a couple of these mods up that would be good for him. And here I'm checking to make sure because I, I, I thought that I remembered that Droidica can't crit. So you pretty much just want offense all over on him. So that's the case. A couple of his skills where he does true damage can't crit. So we're just going to put a bunch of offense on him. Offense mod sets, offense main stats. We're even going to look for an arrow that's offense with an offense main stat. And uh, yeah, so he's not that great, but might as well just ramp him up for offense. So here we get 140 speed on him, which is it's pretty terrible. He does have 50% speed while he's not in his little uh, uh, damage immunity shell. So he'll act at 210 in, in combat, which is not great. But he's still off on his uh, total, 17-7. And um, I did this on my main account. And I feel like I did it without putting the Zeta on by putting six dot mods on him. So I think if I just put six dot mods on him, transfer a set over, he'll be okay. But uh, you guys tell me, with the new Omicron that's out for him, I don't know how good that Zeta is, how good that Omicron is. But uh, if you guys think the Omicron is fantastic and I get feedback on that, I may just go ahead and swing both the Zeta and the Omicron onto him and, and just get that taken care of. So that's where we end up on the journey. We still got that phase four to go. We got to finish those characters out to 17-7, but uh, it's close. Death Trooper, we could put another star on him. So as we were going through, I saw that and, you know, who knows, we might use Death Trooper sometimes. So we go ahead and take care of that. I, I need to work on these Jabba requirements. So about one character a week, I'm going to set to level 85 and get the initial... Um, gear onto and start setting up for this Java journey. So in this case, we're going to do Mob Enforcer, and uh, we're promoting her up to seven stars. Going to take it up to level 85. Going to put some initial skills on her. Yeah, all that good stuff, uh, just to get the character up and running and ready to go. It'll make it easier to work on these characters in the future as we're working on the Java journey. All right, so we take her up to gear nine already. And then we need the Mark IV com links, so that's where she's going to stay for now. Take the skills up, and then we'll park that character. And that's pretty much all we're going to be able to do for the account this week. There really wasn't much in ships that I wanted to do. We didn't uh, give Iden Versio any levels, so we're not working on her ship or anything. So it's pretty much just uh, finished out this uh, upgrades on the Mob Enforcer. And that's it. We're not going to mod the character yet and uh, do all that stuff. So that's going to be it for the account update for week 124. All right, so let's get into this and, and take a look at our stats. 124, we're at 5.93, almost a 6 million galactic power. 65 relics, 78 Zetas, 10 Omicrons. JMK is still in the top 10. Profundity is still getting us top 5, usually number 1 when I can play. We're in a Rhodium 1. We drop back down to a Rhodium for 3s. But so far, um, I'm on a win streak with the account. Five wins in a row in Erodium. Feels like uh, those uh, dropping down from Kyber to Erodium is a lot fewer teams. And uh, I comfortably have enough teams to play in Erodium. Uh, Kyber's a bit of a stretch, so yeah, now that I'm back in Erodium, it doesn't feel like it's too bad. So we're on a win streak. Let's see if we can keep that going. Get pushed back up into Kyber next time. And of course, the project is to finish out that roll low on week 20, 125 and roll right into that Jedi uh, Knight Luke. All right, uh, energy plan is the same as it's been. Scando, Boosh, triple zero BT1 for the after journey eventually, and then Iden Versio. Farming the Sith fighter out of fleet for that Mark IV com link. It's a ship that we might need someday, and I need a lot of those Mark IV com links, so it's nice. Uh, in Cantina, we're doing signal data, working on Santa. She's almost up to seven stars just got to finish her out and we can use her and make a team with some of those 
leftover things from the Jedi Knight Luke journey and such. Um, on the mods, we're doing offense five days a week and slicing two days a week. The refresh strategy right now, three mod, three energy, three fleet, three cantina, but we're going to talk about that here in a minute. Guild activity store, uh, rest of the stores, I'm just buying good gear. Uh, we're actually ahead on Carbantes for the first time ever. In the last few weeks, we finished out with Carbantes still in the bank. I'm still buying them. We still need a ton of them. But, uh, yeah, I, had, I ended up with like 250 Carbantes still left over after this week's clicks. So that feels good to actually be, let's say, almost caught up on those uh, for once. So the gas, uh, we did the phase four is all set up. So the first three phases are done. Uh, we're just working on the 17.7 galactic power requirements. Magna Guard's at Relic 5. I don't know, because he's already Relic 5, maybe that's going to make a difference in that, uh, in that Phase 4, where I won't need to Relic the B1. Maybe he can tank through it. So we'll get the guys to the minimum requirements, and then we're going to try the event, and we'll see how much we can do. I know that if I Relic the B1 that I'll get through it, but uh, let's see if we can get through it without a Relic B1. Then we can focus our relics more on the Java journey and the other stuff that I'm trying to build. Zaydon Droidic is a question. Like I said, leave me the question. Leave, leave your comments down below if you think that that Omicron is really worth it. Uh, Territory War Omicron for the Grievous team. If I had a full relic Grievous team, I'd be tempted to just go for this. But um, of course, I've only got uh, Grievous himself and the Magna Guard right now, and I don't want to take time out to relic three more characters. So. I think that's how it's going to be, at least for a little while. So mod farming, uh, trying that strategy with mods on weekdays and slicing on weekends. Uh, after two weeks, it's been a good ratio for farming mods and doing the weekly work. So I like it. I think that'll work for a lot of players. But uh, I'm at a point in the account right now where I have several mods that are definitely worth six dotting. And I can't six dot the mods as fast as I'm getting good six dot mods on characters where I want to have them at six dots. So it's an interesting phase in the account development. I feel like I'm transitioning between a point where, you know, good enough mods are good enough and where I want the characters really uh, tweaked up a little bit. So, uh, you know, I'm building up some extra crystals in the background. So you guys know what that means, right? I think you do. You got 3,900 crystals, nothing to spend them on. What comes next? Activate the 100 crystal mod refreshes, boys. <laughs> so for the next few weeks, I'm going to start doing that. What I'll do is I'll set my crystal at a bank of 12, uh, 2,500. So I don't want to go below 2,500 crystals. I might need something. I might need a refresh on, uh, you know, uh, uh, proving grounds or I don't know what. Or I might need to buy some gear out of the shop. So... I'll keep crystals in the bank so I don't run out. But then each day, uh, whatever I have left after my regular routine, I'll farm mods last, and I'll run the account down to 2,500 uh, crystals every day with the 100 cost refreshes. So let's go. More mods. Can't get enough mods. I know people think I'm crazy, but I tell you, those extra crystals go straight into mod farming. Love it. All right, uh, 2023 planning. We have Jedi Knight Luke in the works. We've got gas in the works. We're going to get that Java journey done. I'm farming the requirements for Afra. Don't know about Star Killer. Maybe that turns into the Inquisitors. I don't know. We'll have to see where all this goes. And then, of course, into uh, Jedi Master Luke once I've got Java. That seems like an easy grab. So that's the current 2023 plan. Things may change as we go along. That's going to wrap up the week 124 update for the Darth Lokwitter account. Thank you all for stopping by. Remember to hit that like button on the way out if you didn't hit it on the way in. Subscribe to the channel to see more stuff like this in the future. And of course, as always, uh, an open invite to join us over on the Discord. We've got a nice Lokwitter Holocrons Discord. Uh, got an Ask Lokwitter channel there where you can ask me questions. Cool place to hang out, just watch what other people are saying, learn a lot about the game. The link to that is always in the description down below. You click, sometimes you have to click like see more, and then you'll see the link. You can just click on that, join the Discord. Hope to see you over there. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next Holocron.